Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to tell about a story which is called, Panda Park Party with Pippin. Enjoy it! Once upon a time, in a lush green forest, nestled between rolling hills, there stood a remarkable place known as Panda Park. This park was not like any other park you might have seen. It was a haven for all kinds of animals, big and small, where they lived together in harmony and friendship. At the heart of Panda Park, there was a majestic bamboo grove, the favorite spot of the park's most beloved resident, Pippin the Panda. Pippin was a friendly and playful panda with a heart as big as the forest itself. His fluffy black and white fur made him stand out wherever he went, and his warm smile could brighten even the gloomiest of days. Pippin loved nothing more than bringing joy to the other animals in Panda Park, and he often organized special events to celebrate their friendship. One sunny morning, as the birds chirped happily and the gentle breeze rustled through the leaves, Pippin had an exciting idea. He decided to throw a grand party in Panda Park, inviting all his friends from near and far to join in the fun. With a twinkle in his eye, Pippin set off to spread the word. First, he visited the wise old tortoise, Timothy, who lived by the tranquil pond at the edge of the park. Timothy, my dear friend, exclaimed Pippin, I'm throwing a party in Panda Park, and I would be honored if you could grace us with your presence. Timothy blinked his wise old eyes and smiled kindly at Pippin. Why, of course, young Pippin, he replied in his slow, steady voice. A party in Panda Park sounds delightful, and I would be delighted to attend. Buoyed by Timothy's enthusiasm, Pippin continued on his way, spreading the word to all the animals he met. He invited the mischievous monkeys swinging through the trees, the elegant deer grazing in the meadow, the colorful birds chirping in their nests, and even the shy rabbits hiding in their burrows. As the day wore on, excitement grew throughout Panda Park. Animals chattered excitedly among themselves, planning their outfits and thinking of fun games to play at the party. Pippin, meanwhile, dashed from one end of the park to the other, making sure everything was perfect for his special guests. Finally, the day of the party arrived, and Panda Park was alive with anticipation. Colorful banners fluttered in the breeze, and the air was filled with the delicious aroma of freshly baked treats. Pippin stood at the entrance, welcoming each guest with a warm hug and a friendly smile. The party kicked off with a lively dance around the bamboo grove, led by Pippin himself. The animals laughed and twirled, their spirits soaring high as they danced beneath the dappled sunlight filtering through the trees. Next came games of hide-and-seek and tag, with everyone joining in the fun, from the tiniest insects to the largest mammals. As the sun began to set and the stars twinkled overhead, Pippin gathered his friends around him for a special treat. Underneath a canopy of shimmering fireflies, they feasted on a delicious banquet of fruits, nuts, and honey cakes, sharing stories and laughter late into the night. As the party drew to a close and the animals bid farewell to one another, Pippin felt a warm glow of happiness spreading through his heart. Seeing his friends come together and share in the joy of friendship filled him with a sense of contentment like never before. With a final wave, goodbye, Pippin watched as his friends dispersed into the night, their hearts full of memories from a magical day in Panda Park. And as he curled up beneath the stars, surrounded by the peaceful sounds of the forest, Pippin knew that this would be a party they would never forget. Once upon a time, nestled deep in the heart of the bamboo forest, there was a magical place known as Panda Park. This was no ordinary park, it was a sanctuary for pandas of all shapes and sizes, filled with lush greenery, towering bamboo stalks, and bubbling streams. But what made Panda Park truly special was its guardian, a playful panda named Pippin. Pippin was unlike any other panda in the park. With a mischievous glint in his eyes and a heart full of adventure, he was always the first to suggest a game or organize a party. 
Every day, Pippin would gather his fellow pandas for fun-filled activities, from bamboo races to tree climbing competitions. But despite his love for excitement, there was one thing Pippin cherished above all else, bringing joy to his friends. One sunny morning, as the golden rays of the sun filtered through the dense canopy above, Pippin woke up with a twinkle in his eye. He had an idea, one that would make this day the most memorable in Panda Park's history. Gathering his friends around him, Pippin announced, Today, we shall have the grandest party Panda Park has ever seen. The other pandas cheered with delight, their fluffy tails wagging in anticipation. Pippin wasted no time in planning the festivities. Together with his friends, they decorated the park with colorful ribbons and fragrant flowers, turning it into a paradise of laughter and joy. As the afternoon sun reached its peak, the guests began to arrive. Pandas from all corners of the forest emerged, each carrying a dish to share. There were bamboo skewers, bamboo salads, and even bamboo ice cream, a treat reserved for special occasions. The air was filled with the sound of laughter and music as the pandas danced and played games. Pippin led the way, his infectious energy spreading to everyone around him. From bamboo limbo to leaf hopscotch, there was never a dull moment at the panda park party. But amidst all the excitement, Pippin noticed something. A lone panda sitting by the edge of the stream, his eyes filled with sadness. Without hesitation, Pippin bounded over, his heart filled with empathy. What's wrong, friend, he asked, his voice gentle as a summer breeze. The panda looked up, his expression softening at the sight of Pippin's kind eyes. I wanted to join the party, but I'm not very good at games, he confessed, his voice tinged with insecurity. Pippin smiled warmly, extending a paw to his fellow panda. There's no such thing as being not very good at having fun, he reassured. Come, join us. The most important thing is to enjoy each other's company. With Pippin's encouragement, the shy panda hesitantly joined the festivities. Soon, he found himself laughing and playing alongside his newfound friends, his worries melting away like morning dew. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, Casting a golden glow over Panda Park, Pippin couldn't help but feel a swell of happiness in his chest. The party had been a roaring success, but more importantly, it had brought together pandas of all backgrounds and abilities, united in joy and friendship. As the stars twinkled overhead, casting their gentle light upon the park, Pippin made a silent vow. He would continue to spread happiness and laughter, not just within the confines of Panda Park, but throughout the entire forest. And so, with hearts full of happiness and memories to last a lifetime, the pandas bid farewell to another magical day in Panda Park, knowing that wherever there was love and friendship, there would always be a reason to celebrate. Apologies for the abrupt end. Let me conclude the story for you. And so, with hearts full of happiness and memories to last a lifetime, the pandas bid farewell to another magical day in Panda Park, knowing that wherever there was love and friendship, there would always be a reason to celebrate. As the moon rose high in the sky, casting its silver glow over the sleeping forest, Pippin sat beneath the stars, a contented smile on his face. He had learned that true happiness wasn't just about fun and games, it was about bringing joy to others and embracing the differences that made each panda unique. With a yawn and a stretch, Pippin curled up beneath the branches of his favorite bamboo tree, his dreams filled with visions of laughter and love. For in Panda Park, every day was a party, and every moment was a chance to spread happiness far and wide. And as the night embraced the forest in its gentle embrace, Pippin drifted off to sleep, his heart overflowing with the promise of another beautiful day in Panda Park. I hope you enjoy reading Panda Park Party with Pippin.